Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, this is Cyrus right there. He's joining us still. Um, yeah, so this is recommended to me because I was curious. Melkor said something about potatoes. And um, I... <laughs> I wondered if Nordic, Nordic languages could understand each other a little. And I, I, I'm not still sure. Is Finnish a Nordic language? So the Nordic countries are Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, I think. And I guess um, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway can somewhat understand each other. But Danish sounds weird. I'm going to react to it. Let's, I'm, I'm curious. Danish sounds odd. Like a throat condition. Like Danes are holding back a cough. Or maybe they got a potato stuck in their throats. That's what he said. <laughs> Apparently, at that's least so that's neat. what everyone's telling me. But why? Oh, why he is... said, Melkor said to look at the comments, which I will afterwards. Danish sounds so funny to people. Sorry, one sec. Oh, that's that. Hold on. Okay. Alrighty. Whoosh. I recently explored how Swedes... I need to put my coffee. Okay. Norwegians and Danes can all communicate without having to switch languages. But this wasn't fair and even. Oh, cool. Can all Okay. I recently explored how Swedes, Norwegians, and Danes can all communicate without having to switch languages. But this wasn't fair and even. Some languages were more intelligible than others. The internet eagerly pointed its finger at one language in particular. Danish did it. I post a video and I'm told that Danish is a throat condition. I log into social media and I read about the... Why are you guys going to be some... Potato in their throat. I go visit a discussion board and it's a strangled goose. A study tells me Swedish kids hear Danish as uglier and stranger than Danes do Swedish. Sure, some of this is banter and good-natured teasing, but even taking it all with a grain of salty herring, I still have to ask, what makes Danish sound so funny? Maybe I could just add my own theory. I'll blame it on too much Danish butter in their Kringler. But no, this is native lang, so you already know what we're about to do. Sift through the history of Danish to uncover what specifically about its pronunciation makes it stand out. Now, Danish is notoriously hard to learn to pronounce. You'll hear me try, but somebody please back me up. I got you. <sighs> okay, somebody please back me up. No. Try, but somebody please back me up. You'll hear me try, but somebody please back me up. Okay. Travel back in time. Once upon a 1300 years ago, Denmark was speaking an Indo-European Germanic language with a unique northern flavor, which we call Old Norse. To them, it's the Donsk Tunga, the Dane tongue. Throughout so what does English sound like to you guys? Germanic language with a unique northern flavor, which we call Old Norse. To them, it's the Donsk Tunga, the Dane tongue. Mm. Throughout Scandinavia, this is a time of unity. Everywhere you go, Norse sounds like Norse. But soon these Dane tonguers grow restless and get upgraded to Viking status. In the Viking age, something will change. It starts in Denmark. A Dane, probably many Danes, but definitely this one, decides, I'm going to start saying my vowels differently, which leads East Norse to split away from West Norse. It's the start of a trend, the perfect setup for the rest of our story. Hey, everybody, uh, there was another sound change in- Hey, I have a lot of non, uh, you know, UK or Australia, you know, English speaking. So what does English sound like? Like, does it sound more like a, like a German-ish thing, or is it just kind of weird, like Danish, or? 
the perfect setup for the rest of our story. Hey, everybody, uh, there was another sound change in Denmark. And at this point, over a thousand years ago, we can officially call it Danmark, the Dane March. Danmark. See, this runestone says so. The Vikings settle down. The Middle Ages settle in. At this point, Scandinavia is a continuum of dialects that smoothly trace their origins to East and West Norse. Oh, and the too often forgotten Old Gutnish on its own island, Gutnish. where vowels sometimes didn't agree with either Norse, West or East. Officially, though, this is an era of Latin. Not too much written Norse. Until Denmark decides to go medieval and ink the Scanian law. Thanks to scribal copying, this law was available in multiple versions, including this awesome one in runes. Its words show off another Danish change. Unstressed vowels are getting weaker. This is how your nicely distinguished endings in Swedish and Norwegian will all end up in Danish with a, a, a. Uh. Meanwhile, the Hanseatic League is uniting to dominate the continent's northern coast, which brings a war and many new words from Middle Low German, or Middle Nether Dutch. Deutsch. Middle Nether Dutch. <laughs> also, meanwhile, another change is happening in Denmark: consonants becoming softer, like how t softened to th in mathr to mat. What? Like how t softened to th in consonants becoming softer. Like how t softened to th in mathr to math. This is Linnitian. It's Mal. a normal change, just ask Mal. Spanish. But weirdly, Danes do it at the end of syllables. Consonants and unstressed vowels are weakening. But stressed vowels are multiplying. By count, Danish will end up with more distinct vowels than maybe any other language. Why? Now this is a Danish that's getting different. We're on to something. But on the sounds funny scale, so far I'd rate it a chuckle. So far. It's 1526. A Swede... Uthen tried it off in from like some villa hosta oak sign it in dead and flit. Writes the Dane sound like they want to cough, turning words in their throats, writhing and ringing. What is this throatiness? We won't know. Why you guys gotta be so hard on them? Another two centuries before a Danish grammarian writes in the Concordia Res Parvai Crescunt. Concordia Res Parvai Crescunt. Hey, at least my Latin works. Also, bold title. Well, this book describes how Danes pronounce many syllables with a very little hiccup. It's megit litit hic. A little hiccup with a bold name, a punch, shock, or blast, is a stuv. This punch to the throat isn't one sound. It's Any of you saying, oh, you don't know what you're doing, oh, it's all just a joke, you're pronouncing it wrong, dislike the video, whatever, go to hell, I hate you. Sums up it. No. Stuv. This punch to the throat isn't one sound. Blast is a stuv. stuv. This punch to the throat stuv. isn't one sound. It sums up an entire process, a complicated okay. process. Start with a high pitch. Start with higher intensity, increase subglottal pressure and airflow. Decrease low spectrum intensity in phase one. Drop fundamental frequency, lower airflow. Lengthen the closure time per, per vibration. Slightly decrease subglottal pressure. Contract fill. Process with multiple phases and a bunch of anatomy happening in your throat. It's not on every syllable either. These don't have it. Chora, girl, girl. These ones do. So, there. So, it's been der. called creaky, cough-like, and let's not forget a constant stream of tiny hiccups. And it is crucial if you ever want to master that genuine Danish accent. At the very moment this author's writing about hiccups, there's another sound change in Denmark. This time, for once, though, it's not Danish's fault. Danish preserved a trilled Norse rrr. But now... I hate it, I can't roll my R's. 
Throughout France and Germany, a new R is spreading. A dramatic change worth its own story, the so-called guttural R. Instead of a front of the tongue trill, it's a back of the mouth. Denmark cut a back trill. It's a back of the mouth. Denmark cut a bad case of this bug, whose symptoms include turning words like rødgrød into uh, this. Come again? <laughs> like rødgrød. Rødgrød. Rodgrod. Rodgrod. That's what it is. Rodgrod. Into uh, this. <laughs> I'm gonna look like an idiot, but I don't care. The result isn't even throatier Danish. We're oik, almost oik. there. It almost oh. sounds like they have like some water. Like they're like, it sounds like they're talking with water. That's what it sounds like. Almost. Because they have all the right sounds in Copenhagen. But Scandinavia is still a rich. Maybe they're half mermaid. Found it. You're Danish. We're almost there. Merman. Almost. Because they have all the right sounds in Copenhagen. But Scandinavia is still a rich tapestry of dialects. Sweden will keep its many variants, including a Swedified form of Gutnish. In Norway, there's still no single spoken Norwegian. But back in Denmark, the old dialects, some of which never even had that stud, will witness one last change. Traditional dialects will mostly vanish. We end up with nearly all of Denmark speaking one language, a language with the simplest grammatical endings in Scandinavia, weakened consonants, perhaps the largest number of vowels in the world, and little hiccups in rs. And that is how the Danes went from speaking Norse just as well as anybody to sounding amazingly odd, or oddly amazing. Stick around and subscribe for language. Ooh, what a Egyptian sound like. Ooh, I like this. I like it. Alrighty. Um, alright, that was interesting. What? Uh, I'm not even going to try it. Alright, stick around. Uh, next video coming out soon. Cyrus is here. I don't think I introduced Cyrus, did I? Uh, he's my boy. Um, let's, uh, he's my just random historical figure for the day. That's what I like doing. I have fun. Alright, see you guys next time.